forms that you can figure out uh, split second reactions based on the rumble. Oh. Like ZSS down smash, you'll know if you got the strong or weak hit based on the rumble. Oh. Well, there's no ZSS on this screen. It's Brain Trope, Rockin' the Roy, and A Gamer with the Mario versus Me Squared T Lock Tech Chase, who we just saw. Uh, Tech Chase still on that Robin, which he looked so crisp and excellent in in that Losers Round 2 match. Oof. A Gamer already getting aggressive with it, though, trying to cover the ledge. What's going to go? This is a lot of not. Is this real? Don't tell me that something is wrong again. No, this might just be real. Knowing A Gamer and Brain Trope, this absolutely might be real. This is going to hurt my head. I wonder if they had like a brief conversation like wait might or wrong too. Let's just play it, let's just play it. <laughs> you only get one. You only get one. If while you were stopping the game to check somebody else's controls, <laughs> you did not then confirm yours. Yeah, you, you really should have been. Deserve to play a game with the wrong controls. <laughs> <laughs> one strike and you're out. We know it wasn't anyone on red team. Anyways, excellent back air there from Tech Chase to take the first stock. A Gamer's still doing an excellent job of not getting hit, which is very important in Devils. And it looks like, I mean, Mario would make a better stock tank than Roy would. Roy oh, definitely yeah. wants to get up in your face, deal a load of damage, and get those early kills. Roy probably wants to pressure with Nair and kind of like force his way in. And when the opponents use their evasive options to kind of get out of the way, Mario is sitting there scoping it out, trying to get a grab. Catch the roll in or whatever. Ooh, waits really long for that air dodge, but eventually yeah. flies right into Roy's up smash. Trading stocks left and right. Tech Chase, the only one left with three stocks here, but he's got a very high percent. A gamer looking for it with that up smash. That's what I'd expect. I mean, Musebird has been playing so far a very solid point Mewtwo. And I mean, it's, it's what he's used to doing. He's used to covering a teammate who is sitting in the back, getting their projectiles out, and being a nuisance to the other team while they occasionally have very strong moves, given that he usually plays with the Link player in Hyrule Hero. Right. Makes a lot of sense for Mewtwo to come in, and when maybe his block string is not safe, maybe something goes wrong, he calls Ooh, in the assist. Got the arc fire to the, uh, to the Leaven Sword forward air, which was not what he intended in initially, but he said, hey, I'll roll with it. Oh, did not want that down smash. Waits for an air dodge. <laughs> yeah, just kidding. Hard reads an air dodge that did not come. <laughs> wow, connecting the back air to take care of a gamer. Solid lead now for the red team. That's a hefty neutral lead there from Roy. Oh, <laughs> yeah, getting the them both in that nair. That was a extended. beautiful. Beautiful extension from electricity to electricity on the on the red team. I still wish the elements were a bigger deal in the, in the games. Yeah. Because electricity is the only one that has any bonus properties. Yeah. Okay, very good read on the air dodge there from Tech Chase. The second time he's done that now. And now it's just a high percent Roy that they've got to deal with, and they've got three stocks on board. Ooh, yeah. And an excellent combo. Ooh, yeah. Roy is so <laughs> fast folly that Tech Chase even had enough time to let go of the ledge, jump, and get that follow-up. Or that, I'm sorry, that was tournament winner. Tech Chase look at the kills. Five of the kills. Tech and Chase. He, you know, you know, he says, "Hey, yeah, look, look at this. Look." Yeah, he pulled that up, turned to the right, and said, "When are you gonna start pulling your weight?" <laughs> You're a very light character. It's not a lot of weight to pull. Oh, man. Can Is you that imagine? a team confirmed? <laughs> Can you imagine carrying Mewtwo on your back when he's not using psychic properties to make himself one of the lightest characters in the game? <laughs> that character is like 269 pounds. I mean, Ash can carry a Larvitar, so... How heavy is a Larvitar? Like 30? 40 pounds? No, it's like, a it's like 88 kilograms. But is a Larvitar heavier than Fathers? <laughs> you only did that because I said the word kill. You're I right. Could, I remember that the post that I saw had the weight in kilograms. That's what I remember. I do remember that this stage is called Town and City, which is where the blue team has opted to take this red team. And I uh, personally do not agree with this. Uh, I think um, both Roy and Mario in doubles will find most of their kills off the side, and uh, they're just giving that Levin Sword up air and that Mewtwo up throw and up smash much better kill than they Yeah, maybe they wanted the space, which this is going to give them a lot of space. 
Especially against uh, such a stage control oriented team in the red team. Oh! That was unnecessary. It was super unnecessary. I feel like not only was that unnecessary, that was just objectively a bad play because he wasted so much time going out and doing that when they could have done a 2v1 for an extended period of time. And not only that, left a Robin alone on stage. What are you doing? Right. I feel like it's time for Mu Squared to start pulling his own weight. <laughs> he tried a little bit too hard. I feel like Mu Squared oh. is coming fresh off of the exclusively months of Four Glory practice. Because <laughs> we're seeing some real 2015 era Mu Squared. Yeah. I don't mean 2016 era Mu Squared. You mean 2015. I mean 2015 with the down throw charge F smash situations. <laughs> I mean, hey, whatever works. I, yeah. Ooh. Oh! Kills That's his not... teammate and doesn't kill Brain Troop. Red team is at a disadvantage, Stocks. There we go, Tech Chase getting that. Levin Sword Aerial throws to. Oh. That was a, probably a panic. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I he, can't the believe first I'm jump... saying this, but Tech Chase is the strongest doubles player on the screen in which Mew Squared is present. Yeah. Because we, we laud the two brothers in Mew Squared and Hyrule Hero for being such great doubles players. And I, I hate to say it, but he's kind of dropping the ball today. Quite a bit. Quite a bit. They do still have a good lead. One stock right now. Um, percents are not super favorable to keep that lead if they don't pick up the slack a tiny bit. Yeah. We'll see. <laughs> got, the, got the big knockback with the starter on the FB. There we go. Both members of blue team chilling on opposite sides. Red team pushing them out, controlling the space. Musker tried to connect a combo with Tech Chase there with that Nair, but Chase was not ready. At the turn, oh, that Musker just decided that it was time. Well, it's Back time throw. for him to go. Oh! And the invincibility made it so that that was completely safe. Yeah. That was sick. Well, this is not going to be incredibly so, but in Red Team's favor. Mm -hmm. Tech Chase just needs to hold this stock. He has been the stock tank here. Oh, that was a play. Wow. There we go. I am floored. Now we're looking at 2016 era Mu Squared. <laughs> By the time we get to grand finals, he's going to be 2020. 2020 Mu Squared. Hindsight is 2020. Oh, man. That 2020 is going to be unbearable because of all the vision jokes. Oh! <laughs> he was ready. He was so ready. <laughs> that is exactly, exactly the correct thing to do.